An emotional plea from doctors and medics as the 11 county Austin region is running out of ICU beds. We currently have six beds left according to the latest state data, but those on the front line say that could change at a moment's notice. Gag Sands Jayla Washington shares inside perspective on how rising COVID-19 cases continues to take a toll on our health care system. When we call, we expect an answer. But how can we get proper treatment if hospitals are overwhelmed? I can't even explain to another person who is not in the hospital with us what it is like to call families of our COVID patients and to listen to their cries. Anna Vu Wallace, an internal medicine physician, says she's worried about there being no ICU beds available any day now, with it already being so bad. I have had to treat patients in the waiting room. It's like being at war. It's really like being at war. Vu Wallace tells me this is the worst surge in cases they've seen since the beginning of the pandemic. Our team lost a 43 year old man and within an hour. His 37 year old wife passed away from COVID, leaving behind an 11 year old. Sorry. Austin EMS is also feeling the pressure of the Delta variant's contagious path. Prepping more ambulances with fast sterilizing foggers, staff spread thin, transporting patients with just six ICU beds available right now in the region. We actually end up putting our patients in the waiting room of the ER until a bed becomes available. So Selena Chia, president of the Austin EMS patients. Association, says they're having to spend more time at hospitals, taking away from response times, too. I know that we are going to be able to manage now, but at some point we won't be able to manage. So Vu Wallace, she makes a plea. I'm begging. I'm really begging for a mass mandate, even if it's just for a short period of time to give us some relief. It really just breaks my heart hearing how emotional she was and both of those women you just heard from on the front lines, you know, just overwhelmed with what they're dealing with right now. Definitely, and we know that this is really a layered situation. What did they say about how this is really affecting their staff? So keep in mind that burnout among these people dealing with this day in and day out is a real thing. And the EMS president we just heard from, she tells us the pay for nurses in our area is low, making this stressful situation hospitals are in right now even more of a burden to bear. All right, Jayla Washington, thanks so much for, for that report.